Just to show you how absurd uh, Americans and their diet is, 7-Eleven uh, is now serving mashed potatoes through a Slurpee machine. This come on, come on. <laughs> no, it's, come on. No, but seriously, I don't have anything to add, but come on. It's so disgusting, and I just can't imagine anyone wanting to eat this, except it's a dollar for a generous helping of this mashed of potato course. substance. I don't even believe it's potatoes, but we'll see. Um, and the name of the vending machine is known as Maggie Mashed Potatoes Vending Machines, uh, and we have a video showing exactly how it works. Let's watch. We're going to have some incredible mashed potatoes and gravy right out of this, on tap. Check it out. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> It looks like it's in liquid form. Oh, just when you thought it couldn't get any worse. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so look, I, I just wanted to show that video um, as a response to Mayor Bloomberg. Mm -hmm. you, you were failing. Okay, the soda <laughs> thing is nothing. Like when I talk about how the soda ban doesn't go far enough, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Targeting one bad substance or food is not going to change the obesity epidemic whatsoever. We have vending machines now dispensing disgusting mashed potato product. Yeah, and as my two-year-old son would say, that looked like the pee-pee and -pee the poo-poo. <laughs> okay, <laughs> first one, then the other. I was like, Ew. Now, look, here's the thing. Are some people going to eat it? Of course they are, because it's cheap. And you know, it's a dollar, and it's easy to make, right? How are you gonna you're gonna go home and make ma mashed potatoes gravy? That takes a long time. It might take more money. Now, what's in those substances? Only God knows, and, and only God and 7-Eleven know. But it is what it is. And then look, don't get me wrong, I'm guilty too. I've eaten every kind of thing at 7-Elevens. I've eaten their sandwiches with the mystery meats. I've eaten the hot dogs and the hot dogs wrapped in the hot dogs. And the, I mean, and they have all those different like crazy little things there now uh -huh. that are like hot dog variations. Eh, you're hungry. You'll eat just about anything. Yeah, I'm like, ah, oh, well, there it is. Okay. The the thing that I object to is the size usually of things. Like you know, you get a hot dog. Okay, it's mystery meat, but it is what it is, right? It's like they're super gulps. That's the to me, that's the most offensive. Nobody needs this much Coca-Cola. Apparently, people think they do need it because it's been a popular, uh, you know, product at 7-Eleven for quite some time. In fact, they keep making the drinks bigger and bigger, which yeah. makes you think, okay, supply and demand. People want this. Uh, by the way, one of the reasons that they do that is because uh, the Coke costs very, very little for 7-Eleven, but they can charge you more and more. So if they charge you 40 cents extra for a giant ridiculous super gulp as opposed to just a regular super gulp it costs them at most two cents more and they charge you 40 cents more it's a huge profit making machine for them in fact a lot of times they'll be at near margins on many of the other products but they make all their money from the cokes the slurpees and now apparently the pee pee and the poo poo